the U.S. is not being as successful as it may appear in terms of convincing the world to unite with them against Russia. As you know, almost half the countries in Africa at the United Nations refuse to condemn Russia. And other countries taking similar positions, even if they are too afraid to come out in support of Russia, they're refusing to join the condemnation of Russia. And we see Africans in the United States and other places, not just the United States, but in Africa, in Europe and the Caribbean, we see many Africans who are saying that Russia never enslaved Africans. Russia did not participate in the 1884 partition of Africa that was done by Europe. The European so-called West, the uh, colonial powers did that. And that Russia's history, generally speaking, in relationship to Africa and many of the oppressed people around the world, although it was done, much of it, from the Soviet state, they have been supporters of uh, Africa and the colonizers of the world. I think that increasingly, you should understand that more and more people are seeing Ukraine and NATO functioning as a kind of lynch mob, a white man's army that is attempting to protect the global system of colonial slavery and that Russia represents a problem for them in doing that. I think you should really understand that there is not the kind of unity with the U.S. that may seem to be the case right now.